If you have Canva, there are 10 things that you could be doing to really make it worth it. And that's exactly what I wanna do in this video. I wanna show you those 10 things that you need to be doing on Canva. And as well as that, I have a surprise for you. We are going to be giving away a year subscription to Canva Pro for free to one lucky person. So keep watching to find out how you can potentially win a Canva Pro subscription. Personally, I use Canva Pro for most of my businesses, print on demand, Amazon FBA, affiliate marketing, YouTube, literally everything. It just fits in perfectly, especially when I need a quick fix for a graphical element or something like that. It's really simple, it's really, really easy, and it does not surprise me one bit that it got a valuation of 40 billion US dollars. It's literally become one of the world's largest privately owned companies. I mean, that's just crazy. And let me just quickly tell you about this giveaway. So I've gotten together with Cinder to make this possible. I thought this video would be a really cool way for you to get a chance to get a free subscription to Canva and also learn some tips and tricks that you could be using on Canva, some of them on the free, but some of them on the pro. Let me just quickly tell you a couple of things about Cinder. Cinder is the perfect solution for any business when it comes to managing money. If you spend a lot of time inputting your data, then you should be using a company like Cinder because it makes it all automatic, it makes it really quick and really easy. And if you want your business to work, it's so important that you actually understand your numbers. I mean, if you're plugging away there and working and working and working at a loss, well, you need to know that because obviously you need to be working at a profit to make it worthwhile. And that's kind of like where Cinder comes into it because it allows you to track everything and it just makes it all really straightforward right there in front of you. And it works for all types of businesses. Even if you're in the middle of nowhere up some mountain doing something on your phone, you know, it would work for you. So it literally works for print on demand, Amazon FBA, all of it. It just, it doesn't, the, the type of business doesn't really make a difference. And a few key areas that Cinder is really good at is, you know, inventory tracking, multiple platforms to actually track from, you know, if you're selling on, let's say Etsy and Shopify and all these random platforms, and as well as that, smart rules. Now, smart rules are brilliant. It allows automatic things to happen. And well, I can, I can talk about smart rules for hours, but I wanna tell you about this giveaway. Well, whoever enters this giveaway will get the chance to win a Canva Pro subscription for one year. And as well as that, everyone who actually enters will get one month free to use Cinder. The link is down below. All you have to do is fill in the form and you will be entered. It's really that easy, right? And then they're going to be giving away this Canva Pro subscription on their Facebook, their official Facebook page during a Facebook Live. And that will take place seven days from when this video is posted. And that's how you enter this giveaway. It's really that simple. And I wanna ask you, let me know in the comments down below if there are any other tools that you want me to potentially try and figure out if also we could do more giveaways, you know, because why not? And for now, let's just get started with the video, the top 10 things that you need to be doing if you are using Canva. If you're not using Canva, then maybe you should start using Canva. The first one we're gonna be talking about is adding cool backdrop effects. Now, backdrop effects is really good for, like let's say, let's say an image like this, right? Basically, this image is a great image, but if we're using it for marketing on Instagram or anything, if it's a t-shirt, it doesn't matter what it is, we wanna kind of make it pop a bit more. So we can drag the image in very simply, you know, in your uploads over here, and then click the image, click edit image, and then you can scroll down, you can see all these different filters. You know, you've got filters, photogenic, smart mockups, frames, and then you've got this thing called shadows. So you've got glow, drop, angle, and then you've got this really cool one at the end called backdrop. Now this is where you get this cool sort of backdrop effect. So if we click down here, we can actually change, you know, the angle of, of this backdrop effect, right? So we can have it going down there. Let's add it down a bit, a bit more, right? We can make the transparency a bit lower. We can change the blur, maybe make it a bit more blurry, right? And you can see, it's just a really cool, it's kind of making it look like this shoe is floating there, does it not? So if I make that perfectly straight, let me change that. And let's change that. Look at that. That makes the shoe look like it's floating there. Immediately, that is a better picture than it was before. Just a really quick and simple tip or trick that you could be doing 
for your images. The next one is adding grid lines. So if we go into file and we go here and we go show rulers and the rulers will just help you when it comes to actually placing everything, text, other images. And what you can do is you can see I've, I've made the rulers over here and now I can do is I can drag down, right? And I, you see this line? I can drag down at the top here. I can drag down on the side over here so I can get it perfectly right. And I know exactly, you know, that is the box, right? That is the shape for this picture, right? And now I can add anything else, other elements, and it will snap to those ruler sizes. So let's say I click just a normal text and the text shows up over here and the text will actually snap to these grid lines. As you can see, it's snapping right here to the grid line. So if I make this, let's just say the words high and I want to snap it up here, right? I can get it snapped right there perfectly. And that's why I like grid lines because again, I can add more grid lines down there and then maybe another one over here. And this is exactly where I want the writing to be. So I can make that a bit smaller and bam, it just it just snaps perfectly to it. So I definitely think using uh, rulers is a great way to make sure your, perf your picture is perfect. The next cool trick or tip I'm gonna talk about is mockups. Now mockups is really cool. You just have to go to elements over here in the top left scroll down until you to you see frames or grids now if we click see all frames you can see all these different um pictures or, or, or frames that you have here and when you see this color th this kind of like picture with the sky and the hills that's where you know you can drag your image onto it and it will perfectly snap into that frame so for example you know let's select uh, a mac let's select another mac right and let's select an iphone right we've got these three these three uh, mock-ups. And you can see that they are mock-ups because they have that blue sky, the cloud, and their little, you know, green hills thing. And now all we have to do is drag an image and you'll see what will happen. It will go over the top of it and it will just snap to that mock-up. So I'm just gonna use a couple of YouTube thumbnails that I've used in the past. So for example, I can drag this over and I can snap it to there, I can snap it to there. You see, this is it's super cool. So let me snap that one to there. Uh, let me snap this one over to here and let me snap this Christmas one over to there. And what we can do is we can actually kick, click it. My internet is very slow, by the way, because I'm, I'm in a small town in Iceland. Do you know what the town is called? It's a very small town here in Iceland. In fact, in just an hour, we walk from one end to the other end and back. Leicester door. I'm probably saying that wrong, but that's probably... That is, this is why the internet is so slow at the moment, but it's fine, we're coping just fine. But you can see this, right? So you can see what I've done here is I've actually dragged it right here and I can change the position of it or whatever I wanna do. It's just, it's so cool. So you can double click it and you can move it around to change that position. So if I double click this one, I can move myself, I can make myself a bit bigger, right? And I'm always snapped to that iPhone. Double click this one, right? Make it a bit bigger. And you see how cool it is and it just snaps to that mock-up. Canva aren't really known for their mock-ups, but with with this cool feature and they have so many different mock-ups, it makes it so much easier. So I would highly recommend using this for Instagram, for Pinterest, even, even for YouTube, or potentially for your print-on-demand businesses with your t-shirts or whatever. It's brilliant for different marketing elements that you're creating. The next tip is just a quick tip to save some time, and that is a tip showing you how to change the colors of multiple different elements at once. So you can see I've got four or five, I should say, lines here, right? Now, a lot of the time, I wanna make all of my elements the same. So if I've got a whole picture with different stars or different hearts or something, usually what people do is they'll go in, they'll change one color, they'll go in, they'll change the next color, they'll change the next color. What you can do is here, I can click this, right? I can go up here to the left and I can choose a color. So let's pick red. And now what you can do is I can click change all of the black elements to red, bam, and it changes it all to red. So now this works really good if you're not wanting other black elements. So if you've got like a black text and you've got black stars, you know, and you wanna change the black stars to pink stars, then that will be annoying because it will change the black text as well. But if you have the stars in different colors or whatever it is in different colors, it makes it very, very quick and easy to change all the elements into one color just with one click. Now, the next tip is to create even spacing. I'm gonna use these five lines again just because why not, they're already here. But this is super easy and super quick. All you have to do is, well I've got, turns out I've got six lines, but all you have to do is select all, okay, and then go to position, and then vertical, 
and bam, look at that. They all go perfectly even. If I click it again, let me click all of them again, and I go position horizontal, they'll also be horizontally perfect. And that's just how you can snap everything so it's all even spacing. The next tip is how you can quickly copy styles. So you can see here, I've got some text. Hi, how are you? And then underneath, what's up? They're both different fonts, they're both different colors. If I wanna change one so it matches the other one really quickly, I can click on one of them. I can then go into these three dots. I can then click this tool, copy style. I have to click that. And then I have to go and click this one and bam. Look at that. Again, this is just a quick tip to save a boatload of time. The next tip isn't really a tip, but it's just, it's a cool feature that Canva has that you might not have known. And it's Canva colors. And what this is on this page, you can see here, you've got color palette generator, color palette ideas, color wheel and color meanings. And then you've got so much more stuff here. So if we click color meanings, what it will do is it will show us all the different meanings behind colors, right? It makes it so cool. So read more about black, read more about amber. So if we read about amber, it will tell us exactly what amber means, um, what you could potentially use it for. You know, is it good to use it in one ad over another ad? What emotions does it, does it generate? It's just really cool. So here, everything about the color amber. So you've got color combinations. You've got mono, analog, uh, complementary colors, triad. What color is amber, right? What does the color amber look like? the history of amber, what does the color amber mean, how to use amber, what colors go with amber. So if you're interested in color theory and you want to be able to make incredible ads, you wanna make t-shirts where colors go hand in hand with each other, this is probably the single greatest tool on the planet for learning everything you need to learn about colors. Now that's just the color meaning, right? You've also got the color wheel, the color wheel is really cool. The color wheel allows you to actually pick a color and you can choose, you know, complementary colors, monochromatic colors, analog, triad, tetradic, I don't even know what that was. It's just so cool. So if we pick, you know, that one, it will kind of tell us all the different colors that work with it, right? So if we go monochromatic, you know, green goes with that color green and then color theory and the color wheel, color combinations. There's just so much information about color here and Again, people, a lot of people don't realize how important color is and how big of a, of a thing it plays when it comes to bio psychology and um, um, advertising and your actual products and marketing and, and everything. But it's probably one of the most important elements, right? When you're just picking the right colors. And this just allows you to learn all about it. So let's check out the last two elements of color and then I'll show you another tip. You've got color palette ideas and color palette generator. So this is going to be really cool. Color Palette Generator allows you to upload a photo, if you like a photo, and it tells you what colors that person is using. So have you ever scrolled through Instagram, found a really nice page that you like the look of, and you're like, oh, I wonder, I wonder what colors they're using, like, because they seem to have this theme of colors on their Instagram page, and I want to copy that, or I want to see, you know, how, like, what colors they're using. Well, here, you can upload an image, and you can see, right, it tells you exactly what's in this picture. So hot pink, Tiffany blue, mint, and yellow. And you can upload whatever picture you want. So if you try demo image, it will just give us another image. And there you go, right? It's people at sea, you've got Stromboli, Bonjour, Cascade, and Hit Gray. It's really, really cool, and you can just copy that and that'll probably copy the color code, which is hashtag 93A7AA. I mean, this is just such a cool feature. And all of this color stuff is free. This is just canva.com forward slash colors, right? And then you've got the color palette ideas, and this just gives you different ideas for color palettes, 99 pages of different potential color palettes. I mean, you can type a color in here and it'll just give you more. So if you type in blue, the deep blue, right? I mean, this is just so flipping cool. The next one is the Canva keyboard shortcuts. Now this is just a PNG. I will link to this PNG down in the description below, but this is really cool. So this is just a quick way of learning what your keyboard can do using Canva. So for example, moving elements, it tells you all the different things you need to know about moving elements, the quick shortcuts, the quick shortcuts for text, the quick shortcuts for using, for other useful shortcuts, delete, select element, group elements, ungroup elements, all of these different shortcuts really really simple really quick and if you do use canva a lot you should learn these off by heart because it will take your editing time from 10 minutes to probably one minute which we all want right let's go on to the next tip 
The next tip is, well, it's one of those keyboard shortcuts. I know, I know, I just told you about the keyboard shortcuts, but this one particular shortcut, which I know everyone would love to use a lot. So I just wanted to quickly show it to you. This one is selecting an image from behind another image. So, you know, let's say you've got something like this, right? You've got Jordan and underneath you've got the shoe. Now this is a really bad example because I would never have overlaying images like this, but let's say I did. If I want to select that shoe, I can't, I can't select it, right? It's really annoying. What you need to do is you need to hold on the Mac command and it will allow you to select that shoe. Now you can, you know, select that shoe and move it around, resize it, right? And by holding down command, it allows you to select that one behind. Now, if I don't hold command, I'm just selecting the layer in front. So holding command basically just allows you to select the layer behind the front layer. And the last one, again, there are probably hundreds of cool tips and tricks I can tell you about Canva. And if you want to learn more about them, let me know in the comments. But the last one is we have to just go to our home. We have to go to um, brand kit. And the last one is adding fonts. So here we go. Look, you can upload your own font. Now, personally, I like to use Google fonts because it's free for commercial rights and they have so many fonts. Now, I know Canva also have a lot of fonts, but sometimes they just are missing you know one of the fonts or a couple of the fonts or a font that you particularly like or maybe it's a font that you've bought or paid for on creative fabric or something and canva just doesn't have it well this is where you can upload your font and then when you're creating something you know um well if we go back to creating creating a design you can actually select that font that you have previously uploaded. And that's it for the cool tips and tricks on using Canva. Let me know down below if you have any of your own cool tips and tricks. I know I've said there's a lot of things to let me know down below, but either way, let me know down below. Just, just give me a full essay really of, of everything I've asked. But, but either way, let me know your tips and tricks down below. And don't forget if you want to win a, a year subscription to Canva Pro, click the link and go and enter. And you know, hopefully, you know, you end up winning. I don't know, but Good luck. And finally, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.